Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time watching, welcome to Horsepower Warehouse. My name is Junior. I do car reviews, I do awesome one of a kind builds, but for today's adventure, I wanted to show you guys something unique. Um, whether you love it, whether you hate it, you know, this is definitely unique. So without further ado, I wanna introduce you guys to the 2000 Corvette AAT. AAT standing for Advanced Automotive Technologies. This is the manufacturers of the kit that you were looking at here. This one is done in a really, really nice pearlescent white. And I know it's kind of hard to capture it in this lighting, but it does have a really nice pearl paint job on it. Furthermore, whenever I talk about kit cars, I kind of make this face in terms of uh, the body gaps, you know? Um, but if you look at this car in particular, I mean, look at, take reference there. Look at this side, how close it matches. And everything is nice and continuous all the way through. Check out the door gaps. So when I tell you guys that this is not a run-of-the-mill body kit, you know, that um, that's the best way to put it. This thing is probably the nicest quality uh, conversion kit that I've seen on a Corvette. I've seen a ton of Corvettes come through here with aftermarket body kits and stuff like that. And usually when you're talking about fiberglass kits, it's, it's all in the mold and the manufacturer and how close they got it to where it should be. This thing is spot on, guys. Um, the styling that's completely objective um, I'm not gonna lie I absolutely hated it at first I thought it was terrible 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 but as you get to looking through it you know obviously there's lots of classic cues the grill the headlights you know they even went so far as to put the the vintage style emblem of course the sidebars like you would find on a 54 you know this is pretty much all one corvette here same thing with the rear bumpers i see a lot of c1 corvette here having built you know quite a few of them come through the shop of course it wouldn't be enough to just do the exterior they uh they two-toned white and red I'm sure the seats were factory red seats, but they dyed a lot of additional stuff that normally wouldn't come red in this car. And every now and then it looks like they left a black accent just to kind of break it up. And, and I can appreciate that, um, especially considering the fact that they probably did not want to attempt to dye the bezel around the instrument cluster nor the radio and all that, it would look too tacky. So they had to leave some black in there and I like how they just kind of continued it through and left some pieces to, to match. Now it looks like this is commemorative edition 210. I'm not sure on the actual build numbers on these cars, but I can't imagine that they built very many of them. Being in the Corvette world, we sell a lot of classic Corvettes and modern vets. Um, I, I've only seen probably two or three of them um, in the time that we've, we've had this facility. But let's go ahead, come around. All the doors shut open like a brand new Corvette or a 2000 Corvette, I should say. Typical C5. Kind of tricky to get the trunk lid open, but once you get your fingers in there. And let's look at the quality. Look at the thickness of the trunk lid. You know, all the seams. Everything looks really nice on this car. The filler looks, you know, OEM. And of course we have a, a large amount of trunk space going all the way through. You can see the back of the seats there. This would make a fantastic 
spot to put a sound system and have the sound travel through. If this were my car, it would get a twin turbo kit, different set of wheels and tires, and a sound system, first and foremost. You can see it's got the painted calipers on there. Wow, look at the clearance. There's like nothing. Hmm. I guess the wheels look okay. I mean, you know, it's a, it's Corvette. It's trying to teach a new dog old tricks, right? Because that's what we do here is teach old dogs new tricks. We put fuel injection and uh, big brakes and suspension and everything else in these old cars. This is uh, teaching a, a new dog an old trick. Let's go ahead and pop the hood. Not sure whose signature that is, but he's obviously proud of this car. I could see why. LS engine, kind of standard equipment. I've seen these with supercharger superchargers on them. This one is non-supercharged. Um, I kind of like the nostalgic looking rail or uh, fuel rail covers here. That looks pretty cool. But again, going through into the quality of this kit, I mean, where it matches the factory portion of the car where you know this keep in mind this was a c5 corvette so you can't really tell that this was not a c5 corvette at some point i mean just looking at how everything fits it is all really really nice i mean this kit had a tremendous amount of thought put forth into getting it to the fit and finish and everything it's like a factory car I mean, it truly is. It, it doesn't look like one, obviously, but it, it, it's just like a factory car. So let me just go around it one more time for you guys and show you some of the details here. Very cool headlights. It looks like we have projectors in there as well, which is very nice, unexpected. I'm curious, where where do you get something like this? Because this isn't a true 54 Corvette piece, it's too rounded. I can tell the difference. They had to have had these made specifically for this kit. That's kind of interesting. Same thing with the tail lights. I like how they have the reverse lights down here and in the faux exhaust. And then of course the quad tip exhaust coming out the bottom there. Looks like LED backup lights as well. And then an LED third light there. Man, if you look at it like this, it looks like a like a prowler almost. <laughs> it's this car has so much going on visually. It reminds me of a few different things. Let me close the hood and ask you guys what what your opinion is on it. Do you see the Panos? Panos cars? P-A-N-O. S, I think that's what it looks like to, be, to me at Panos <laughs> anyhow thank you guys for joining us um, if you like my stuff please consider subscribing um, like comment whatever floats your boat until then take care guys